Okay. Why are you there? Oh, because of the trees. Yeah, I'm looking at them. And I'll be cutting them. There we go. Give me my precious resources. Is it ash tree? Thank you, we need a lot of the ash log. There we go. Welcome to the park. Hell yeah, there's sick trees. Oh! Okay. So he said the trees are sick, so he cut them down. Well, I'll, I'll take care of them. I need the ash stuff so I can build some stuff on the uh, ship. I think one for a tool. Oh, that's a thing. We might be seeing um, a whole lot less of uh, Pulse's spirit animal. It could be the stream that he, uh, he has the big sleep. Because once we complete his um, his third room upgrade, that's pretty much the trigger to do his uh, second to last quest. Ah, this is interesting. The death of Pulse. This is spirit arm. Mmm. Friend. Yeah, I do like the soundtrack for this, um, for this game. But I think it's a bit rich that with a lot of these games, with very nice soundtracks, they try to bundle it with, like, some some weird DLC and they, they tag $10 on there. When everyone knows that you can just go to YouTube and, and find the stuff for free. I don't get it. Oh. That's basically a police situation. I told my boyfriend to leave and he's still he's still not leaving. Call the police. Alright. Up we go. I'm not going to be able to make it to the top of that, am I? Ah, uh, and I'll, I'll probably need the bounce power. Right. Okay. Is this the only thing that's left? Oh, why we got that? Okay. Okay. Dang it. All right. That's all that we can explore of this area then. Unless we can... No, that wouldn't take us up far enough, would it? I'd rather come back here when I've got the uh, the extra super... Um, the, the extra ability of bounce. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> oh, it was good to open up that location. So now I should be able to. Okay, well, not yet. Once I look at that thing again, it should open up the fog of war a bit. Yeah, this ship is not up to code. The way that it's built. Yeah. This ship shouldn't be staying upright. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we got another one. Yeah, we, we've got that though, so we have to go there. We've also got that. Okay, before we do anything, wake up everyone. We gotta build. Now, who was it that wanted the thing? It was in here. It was you? They need ash plank, so. We harvested about 20 or so things, so it should be good. Okay, meat and beef equals... 
made stew. Hmm, probably not good for what I did. Um, whatever. Whatever. That's right. We can do one of them. And that, and we can make... No, no, no. It just makes, um... Let me, let me show you what it makes. Where is it? Oh, I, I've already got rid of it. It, it makes like this Korean fried chicken, but it's not the fried chicken that Pulse wants. Pulse probably wants something dipped in oil. And I haven't unlocked oil yet. Uh, okay. We need to go to the... This place? No. Mm, no. It's the, um, the... The sawmill. Where is it? Here. Here we go. This is probably my most hated of the um of the mini games. Shit. You gotta use your analog stick to um get the line perfect. Uh I really dislike this one. Was that perfect? Nah. Not, mm. If you get it perfect, you get like um four, I believe. And if you mess up, you get three. If you really mess up, you only get two. All right, that was perfect. That was good. Okay, I gotta try this game out. Oh, this soldier has it. Oh gosh. Damn it. Oh my god. I'm not even drunk. Alright, that was good, wasn't it? I think that was perfect. Four. Oh, yeah, good. I don't know, all the little shit you're doing is really neat. I like the item management. Ah, oh, I see. I mean, I think my frustration is more that I've been playing it since when did i start this one i think maybe may or june so i think it's the frustration with not being able to move on to other projects i want to do that's where the um the negativity is coming from i mean it's a very chill game it does have a coherent story um and it's not just like okay here's the story and like you're going towards a big bad Although, there is a big bad. We, we've only glimpsed a small thing of the big bad. I could see myself getting lost for a few games. Yeah, this is definitely that type of game. You can get lost in this. Definitely. It's not like full-on farm simulator, but... Yeah. It's it's a pleasant game. It's It's got a lot of positivity. There's no, like... Um, Himeko Sutori. What the hell is that? So, one of my Steam friends, I met him in um, university. And we haven't kept contact, but I still have him as a Steam friend. And he seems to... He likes his FIFA and he likes his chow cheese. So it looks like he's found another one. The thing is, whenever he starts a game, I see a pop-up like four or five times in a row. Especially for FIFA stuff, and it's very annoying. Oh my god, that's the third notification. Jeez, dude. Um, yeah, so as I was saying... What was I saying? What was I saying? So item management. You can get lost in this game. Yeah. Yeah, I lost my point. I lost my point. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't that important to begin with, so... It's an alright game. Um, I would I would wait for a sale because I think it's um in the thirties. So if it's if it's um yeah if it's on sale, it's, that's the best time, obviously. And the best way to know when anything is on sale on sale on Steam is using steamdb.info. 
um, that website is like a, a database. Anytime that um, well, it, it just it tracks everything. So if you're looking to get a game cheap, you just you know fire that up and you look at like whatever game is the most marked down, and that's yeah yeah. When I found out about this website, SteamDB.info, it was like whoa, like this is this pretty good. And of course you've got GOG.com, and they have their occasional specials or free games. So I recently picked up a Traz Recommendation Biomenace for free. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but check out, whenever you want to like buy Steam games, try not to get them at full price. Because I feel like, you know, you can do better. You can do better. Wait, I can mix coffee with stuff? Coffee with what? No. I mean, that doesn't make sense, so let's make coffee. The deals are just too good, yet. Yeah. I'm doing more item management. Okay, no, no, wait, wait, wait. What I did do was I cut the, um, the ash logs. So now I have ash planks. Okay, so now we can see if we can build Pulse's um, picture frame. And we'll also see if we can get a home for that ball. Alright. Okay. Build. Yep, we can make it. So let's build that first. Okay, you can be over here because... How far up does it want it to be? Oh, I see, because of this thing. Let's get that out of the way then. This thing is honestly proven to be a bit useless, but... It's fun. It will put you there. whack you away from the others because you're a terrible, terrible person. There we go. Alright, so he wanted like um, marble and gold and all sorts of nonsense. Oh wait, you got planks? I'll see. Thank you. Wait, do you want a hug? Thanks for the planks, Pulse. Oh. He's, he's hungry again, but I'm not going to feed him. He's got to learn. Jeez. Now this is what I'm talking about. Alright, this should be good. So the character's name is Stella. And the cat's name is Daffodil. Alright, let's see. Phantom Terror. Alright, he's still thinking. That's right. Look at this Taj Mahal. Oh, he's, he's inside now. Where does he sit, though? Does he just get dumped? Okay, interesting. He's got a nice big bed there. Kid, okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay, um, you liked, uh, you liked, you did not like things with, um, one ingredient. Do you reckon he's got, like, a sweet tooth? Probably. <laughs> How about this one? Meat stew. Go on, mate. Oh, yeah. Cannibal. Love it. That's disgusting. You should feel ashamed. Pretty nice, it looks pretty nice. I like the other uh, stonework. Yeah. Uh, okay, you're hungry, you can have um you like exotic. No, you can have popcorn. Oh that's right, put carbs. 
This guy's an absolute shit to please. Fish curry? Um, fine dining, right? Acquired taste? Pug. No, you don't need to eat. You don't need to eat at all, mate. Get out of my sight. Okay, you... Yeah, yeah, she's starving. Starving, Marvin. Uh, God, I got the stream's itch. You like plain food, but... Okay, exotic, no. Old-fashioned, maybe? Okay, nothing now. Gustav would probably be, um... That's right, we haven't given Gustav a stimulant. We haven't given him coffee yet, so... Let's, let's do some more coffee while that's being done. Okay, it does have its uses. Uh-huh. How about some nutritious coffee? Ah, oh, well. Do you want a hug? Oh wait. Old painting, nice. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see if we can do Pulse's picture frame. So a tool's house is this one. Bottled ectoplasm. So he needs his cummy bottle. Hmm. I don't know where we're going to get the cummy bottle. And Stella's not in any position to fill up a cummy bottle. Ah. What to do, what to do. I think we're just going to go to the shipwright. Get the ship upgrades. Because we can always come back here because of the um, bus stop. Let's see what kind of fish is around here. What we got? We got like a mahi mahi. We got like a big old goldfish. A black tiger shrimp. That looks delicious. You know, in the past, um, I used to mock cowfish. What the hell? I used to mock fishing games. You know, like, you know, Bass Pro. But I think I'm starting to understand why people would play games like that. They don't want to get to the trouble of um, getting their hands dirty and driving places to do fishing. But if they could fish in a video game, and I, I can understand why people would do it. Okay, there we are. There we go. Okay, come on, come on, let's get going before he gets stopped. The game's probably going to stop us any moment. cook that. I think that makes the prawn cocktail, which is fine dining, and we need fine dining. We need choices. Because even though it's a fine dining choice, you can't feed them the same thing twice in a row, so. Alright. We have enough money to get the big, um, big boy ship, but I'm not sure if we want to do that straight away, so let's just... Ok, 
Okay, so we have the master. Oh, that's doable. Oh yeah, let's do that now. Done. Okay, so we've upgraded blueprint station to master. So we, we can do every single thing. Now, what about this? Okay, we need zinc. Damn it. But that'll make us go faster. Is that just a case of us making the zinc? Probably. Okay, I can unlock that. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. So, the Fearless Whale is the biggest ship. Colossus. And the Silent Orca. I used to think that, like, this one was the biggest one. But then it's like, no, we got, like, the big mummy. Okay. Gets any stain out. Silver, silk, bottled ectoplasm. That's going to be hard to get. And spirit flowers. So I need to kill off three other crew members. Alright. We're done here.